We don't look anything alike. We don't sound anything alike. We don't ski anything alike. No. No. <laughs> Everybody knows exactly who they're talking to. I imagine we probably ran into one of uh, as few times as kids, but never bad enough to... I always ran into him, he was too slow. <laughs> yeah, it's not... It started with him. Dad had orchards in Alexander, Washington for five years, and then during those years he was working at the area in the winter months when the trees didn't need his attention, and then he was offered the job at the area, so he sold the orchards to his younger brother. We moved back to the Yakima Valley. We actually lived in Glebe for three years. He drove daily, and then the company said, we need you on the mountain 24-7. Built the house right here about, I don't know, 50 yards from the chair two or whatever. And after dinner, we'd go out and, uh, on the ramp of the chairlift and set a little slalom course under one mercury vapor light. Just hike up and down. We might be out there for two, three hours every night just doing that. Had it not been for Dad taking the job here, we would have never been probably ski racers. We would have been good fruit farmers right now instead. It's funny, as a kid, you know, Chair Run was my favorite trail. Just right under the lift, straightest line at the bottom, steeps, whatever. I'm still a little old school, so I like the bottom of the mountain more than the new outback area. You know, Cascades is a lot of fun, you know, with the, you know, the rolling terrain on it and stuff, and you can just hark off some big GS tunes. And, Put your hips six inches off the snow and have a bunch of fun. Our first love was football. Instead of going to Europe with the ski team to train in the fall, I stayed home to play football. Dad was like, yeah, that's great. Mom was like, what happens if you get hurt and you can't ski this year? I was like, yeah, I can ski race for a lot of years, Mom. I can only play high school football for four years. When Phil and I got done with ski racing. I mean, our idea was to, you know, have camps for Originally, I think, basically racing, and then we thought, well, let it be for everybody. That's from a beginner to the one that's been skiing for 40 years. We did that for 38 years at two different areas. You know, we said, well, let's do a, a mare invitational and bring them to White Pass. I mean, a lot of them said, yeah, one day I want to ski at your home area to just see where you came from. Well, they're staying at our houses instead of having them in hotels and whatnot. And so it's been a fun time. They're all like family to us. Third day. What are we working on? Up and down, Lord. Up and down, that's very nice. Right? Who, who said short? <laughs> oh. Oh. Go. Go. <laughs> they say that once you go to one of the camps, you're, you're in the mayor family, and I, I think that's pretty true for all of this crowd. Steve gives us the tough feedback when it's needed. <laughs> you ski behind them and yell at them. Oh, whip them with the pole if you have to. This is my first day on skis, so to even get a chance to see him up here is uh, super special. I mean, this is this is home. The people are loving, accepting, and you're just here to have a great time, hoot and holler, cheer each other on, and, and get after it. I always like to say that he's a better dad than a skier. He's just a selfless man really believes in bringing the best out of people and I mean, it just shows every day and just an unbelievable uh, father figure to have. You know, I don't get near enough time here in general. We're on the road so much. If I get 10 days a year at White Pass, that's kind of the norm. It's always fun to come back because you know it kind of like the back of your hand and anybody ever asks us where's your favorite place to ski, uh, White Pass, Washington, 